Moving on, the past one week has been a busy time for China. Everyone has been on their toes as Congress laid out a future plan. From economy to COVID to geopolitics, everything was discussed at Beijing's Great Hall. Well, for the rest of the world, this will help shape policies. For Taiwan, this could have real challenges on ground. Xi Jinping heads the military. And his decision to have a major reshuffle in its leadership is not just a revamp move. It's a sign aimed directly towards Taiwan. The People's Liberation Army is looking at Taipei with blinkers on. Remember, China has already enshrined its opposition to the island's independence. Let's now look at the new military leadership to understand better. In the Central Military Commission, 72-year-old General Zhang Yuxia has been promoted to first-ranked vice chairperson. This promotion goes against unwritten party norms. It was previously decided that Central Committee members will have to retire before 68. But Zhang is an important figure in the Chinese president's eyes. He has been instrumental to Xi's military reforms. In 2015, he launched a program to improve the PLA's combat readiness. General He Wei Dong has been made the second-ranked vice chairperson. When Xi was first re-elected party chief in 2017, General He was not even part of the Central Committee. But today, he has been granted a seat at the Politburo. Report suggests that the military exercises staged around Taiwan after U.S. House Speaker's visit was this general's orders. Beijing sees Taiwan as a breakaway province to be brought under its control. Most countries do not recognize China's claim, and one of the most vocal voices is the United States. In more than one occasion, President Joe Biden has vowed to use force if China invades Taiwan. However, the Taiwan policy does not make any mention. It remains to be seen how the next five years will pan out for Washington and Beijing. Lin Ching Yi, a member of Legislative Yuan Taiwan, is joining us live on the broadcast to talk more about this latest development. Lin, welcome to Eon. Hi. First of all, what's your view on China's statements about Taiwan in the just concluded Congress? I think um, China have never. Um uh, never um, give up their um, attitude to invest to Taiwan. But uh, I think the more information, especially the, uh, she ha- uh, keep her third term now. So um, all we need to elevate our awareness and elevate our defense ability in um, recent years. Taiwan's Mainland Affairs Council said the Taiwanese government will firmly defend its national sovereignty, democracy and freedom. They went on to caution China against any military intervention. What impact will this have if Beijing breaches Taiwan's plea? I think um, I must to, um, point out one very important information that is in past um, six years, Taiwanese co- Taiwan government we keep to want to have a communication with China government at equal position. And we have not any uh, military attitude to um, attack China. But China have uh, uh, never give up their military threats. And they increased their military threats to Taiwan this year. So of course, Taiwan, we were to elevate and increase our self defense ability and most important to cooperate with our friends to keep the Indo-Pacific region have a peace and um, the, uh, re- no more economic cooperations. Xi Jinping was re-elected as the president of China. What, um, <laughs> you know, what's, uh, what's it for Taiwan in the next five years, you think? I think um, we were not uh, um, to treat that very lightly. I think all we need to seriously to treat his third term, because uh, if he want to shifting his internal straits, usually he will use external military threat to Taiwan. 
But I think um, most of the Taiwanese and uh, um, the democratic countries, the global world, this time all we understand she had never um, have the attitude to become real democratic country. China is a authoritarian country, and they never decrease their threat to global society. All right, we have to end this discussion here. I've been talking to a member of the legislative Yuan Taiwan, Lin Ching Yi. Thank you very much for giving us time today. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.